My mom made it, in case you wanted to know. Um, <laughs> hi, my name is Cecily, and I'm a senior from Gretna High School. <sighs> when my height barely breached my mother's torso, spring meant summer. Streetlights on meant safe. Streetlights off meant bedtime. At the end of this long winter, I've begun to feel an ache for spring, like when you're a kid and there's never an end in sight. In these past 17 years, I finally found myself pressed between pages of a book, notes of a song, stored in the box where I keep my tea leaves, cramped between gasps of laughter, hidden behind courage that I just now realized I have. Now, my head level with my mother's, spring means an end, means goodbyes and no mores, and growing up means moving out, paying bills, learning to become an adult, means nothing is the same, means everything is going to change. Maybe I should have learned how to slow time, spend more, make it meaningful. I'm starting to really miss spring. How the poppies in my backyard seem to bloom overnight. Great fires of orange scattered the ground outside my window, and now it's cold and barren and littered with patches of white, brown, black. I'm worried about all the things I won't know how to do or how to fix or how to live. I'm worried I'm going to lose myself in this new world, worried I'm not going to be able to find myself in time to enjoy it, worried I'm not going to be able to find those things in life that make it worth living, like my poppies. Maybe I don't miss spring. Maybe I shouldn't miss spring because this time, when the masses of orange sprout from the ground outside my window, I know it will be our bittersweet goodbye. So, to the poppies that peeked at me through my window, take care of your new tenant when she moves into my room. To the home-cooked dinner made every night of the week, don't worry, I'll be back soon enough to see you. To the Wednesday nights spent at friends' houses watching scary movies, <laughs> I take comfort in knowing you were always the highlight of my week. Sorry. To my life that I once knew all too well, now I will bury you. Tucked sweetly into the box where I store my tea leaves, nestled snugly in the soil, still frozen from winter. Sit calmly and wait to bloom in the spring. But when you do, I won't be blooming with you. I will be wilting in a world of color. I will cast my memories across the ground like seeds. I will wait and see where my roots take place, where this new season of life takes me.